Today marks the beginning of a new era. This coronation is a declaration of our hopes for the future, and for the years I may be given to reign as your king. Thank you, kind guests, for joining me tonight in this celebration, and I hope to continue receiving your support in the future. And who do we have here? It is always a pleasure to see a new face. Quite unlike that of the many royals I am often around. May I ask which jurisdiction you are? The East End. Hmm. Yes, they do tend to have quite the diverse nobility there. It would explain why I have not met you before. I am very glad to have you here tonight, darling. And I hope that you will stay for a while. Since this is your first time here, allow me to give you a tour of the place. Oh, no need to be shy. I am sure the other guests will be able to entertain themselves with each other while we are gone. And we won't be long. I insist. In fact, I'll make it in order. You wouldn't say no to an order from His Majesty, would you? Then please, take my arm and let's be on our way. Do tell me more about yourself. It has been a while since I have visited that end. Are the governors there well? That is good. Lady Margaret and I used to get along quite well. It is a shame she fell ill at such a tender age. Time is a cruel mistress. It is not her I wish to talk about, however. She could be far too lenient at times, and I am sure your family has been keeping quite the strong hold on the population following her departure. Sometimes you must be harsh with the rules to squash any insurrections. The last thing we want is for the impure to seize power. Or worse. This castle is rather old, you see. When it was first established, humans still held control of the nations and hunted us as they were afraid. You keep glancing back, dear. Is something bothering you? No one will disturb us here, I assure you. We do seem to be heading further away from the party. Quite the change of scenery as it is very quiet on this side of the castle tonight. We have just begun our little tour. You couldn't possibly want to leave just yet. It is not every day that you get to have such an in-depth view of the Vampire Lord's castle. I am sure your family will understand if you are away for just a little longer, won't they? If they don't, I will just have to talk to them myself. It is quite all right. You can just leave it to me if need be. Other vampires will listen to my authority, no matter how powerful they think they are. And thus... There is something else bothering you. Is there, dear? You can always talk to your king. Don't look away. It is just me and you here. Meet my eyes. Look at me. We can remain here for as long as need be, darling. Make this easier for yourself by being good. Look at me. Now. Just like that. There really is nothing to be afraid of. Unless you are hiding something from me, that is. But that wouldn't be wise, would it? Coming into my house with the intention of misbehaving. No, that would not be wise at all. Right, dear? 
Then let us proceed further. We will soon be reaching the living quarters, which have been renovated quite recently. Keep up. Mother used to be rather fond of the old decorations, but as you may imagine, they have been out of fashion for a long time. They have now been changed to something that better suit our image of red and black and... Ah, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You can only run so far before I, or someone else, finds you again. And it is not like you would stand a chance if you were to try and fight any of us. Would you, dear? Oh, no. So small. So helpless. So weak. Shh. Stop struggling. It will tire you out more than it will do to me. If you did not want to be in my presence so much, then you should have thought twice before coming here tonight. Isn't that right, human? <laughs> Don't look so surprised now. It will take more than this pathetic disguise to fool me. Humans, as opposed to vampires, have a very distinct trace. Much sweeter, if I do say so myself. Oh yes, darling. I could tell since I first laid my eyes on you. No. I could tell before I even saw you. The others at the party most likely did not notice. Not all vampires have this ability. And that is the difference between... Them, and a royal. So many of these nobles are only such in name and do not deserve any real recognition. Oh, no need to be scared. I do not intend to hurt you. Just yet. I could, and should, for your trespassing and blatant lies, but I am amused by your courage. I suggest you keep amusing me, darling, before I change my mind. Now, will you be a good little human and quietly follow this time? No more attempts at escaping. I knew you would make the right choice. Here, go on. Enter. How observant of you. Yes, this is indeed a bedroom. Now, nobody will even come close to disturbing us. Such a scared thing you are. Where did all that courage that helped you to sneak into my house go, hmm? Or was it just curiosity that drew you to the lavish lifestyle? Humans. Such destructive creatures. It is only natural that we, the superior race, pushed you into the corner you deserve to cower in. That is for our safety and yours, too. You might not believe me, but you being here today only serves to prove it. When left to your own devices, you only put yourselves in danger. Come on, dear. Come. Sit on my lap. You must be misunderstanding. This is not a request. Come here. Now. Much better. You are much cuter when you obey without question. Now look into my eyes, darling. It is a shame that such delicate features are locked away in a mortal body. With your tender hands and soft eyes, many would fall head over heels for you. Yes, your human nature is quite unfortunate, but that is an easy fix, isn't it, my love? 
confused. That's okay. We can talk about this later. Just keep looking into my eyes. Unlike you, I did not lie, you see. It is always a pleasure to see a new face. And I do hope that you will stay here for a while. A long while. In my thrall. At my service. You shall not be hurt or in pain as long as you stay here with me. Yes, it is starting to sound more and more appealing by the moment. Isn't it, love? What do you say? Hmm, I think you need to sink deeper into my eyes and let the idea of serving me truly wash over you. It's a very enticing idea, isn't it, darling? That's what I thought. Then let's try this again. You will stay with me, won't you? Good. It has been some time since I last had a human thrall. The trouble with your kind is that you wither away in the blink of an eye. And that is no good. You can trust that your master will take care of you from now on. You will live many many healthy years. I must now return to the party, as my guests will be wondering where I am. You, however, my love, should remain here and sleep. You do not need to worry about your human family. I will ensure they are taken care of. You humans need to sleep at night to replenish your energy stores, and you are quite tired, aren't you, dear? No, my love. You are extremely tired. You should trust your master's judgment. You couldn't possibly be thinking about standing up just yet. You want to sleep much better don't worry you can fall asleep right here with your head close to my chest sleep now darling tomorrow will be a busy day <laughs> <laughs>